grim riders arrive today with faces like worn bronze. Their grim faces told an even grimmer tale. Adimanthos has died. His army shattered, naught left but broken men rushing for home. They say Adimanthos was the last on the battlefield, ushering his men to flee when he was struck by a stray arrow. It was there that he died with his army on the road to Oxiana, far from Greece, far from Babylon, but in a land he called home. I must admit, this news has shaken me, for Adimanthos was like an older brother. He saw my potential, he elevated me, gave me an army. I have much to thank him for, but now it seems I am too late to do so. In a way, it seems better that he died, for our so-called king would have little mercy for him now. But Antiochus has got one thing right, naming me commander in the north. And so Carpus, Adimanthus's son, and Antiochus go north at my command, while I remain here and seek revenge. Revenge for a friend and a brother in arms. So we march forth. But I do so with caution. Eumenes' curse of brazenness has killed both him and Adimanthos. I do not hope to be the third commander in a row to die of Eumenes' curse. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in Artia Imperium Serectum. And today, we are going to be expanding our lands once again. Everything's been going re reasonably well, apart from last time. We lost Adimanthos the Lude. What a man. Uh, but unfortunately, he was lost to time, of course. I wonder whether they can reach us. They actually can. I'd fancy our chances against them now with this army. We just were overwhelmed by the number of troops that the Bactrians had. That age-old adage of the more troops... Uh, the better they're going to fight, really, the better they did. So, uh, yeah, a bit unfortunate. Uh, but, yeah, that's fine. We are going to continue in the north, fighting against Bactria. Luckily, we only have to worry about Bactria now and not any of the Parthians just yet until they betray us again, which they will. I just wanted to quickly take a look at the family tree uh, very quickly. If it will load, because it will take a while to load. Oh, no, it just loaded straight away. So we need to come across, don't we, to find Antiochus. It's all the way across this way. Oh, God, there's Seleucus. So, yeah, we're still going. So Antiochus the Builder there. We got Antiochus our first, our second, and now Antiochus the Angry, our third guy. Diodotus is 13, so we're still looking at a maximum of six turns. So Antiochus needs to get to... 60 basically which i'm hoping he will um uh, because abderos the thinker is the it's the heir which we don't want we want diadotus to be the heir um but i mean apart from that we could do polypercon or corollus but they are just literally uh just um governors and dragoras the builder what a man 80 years old i don't think i've ever seen anyone live that long in this game uh, without like four to uh, four turns per year or anything like that but wow <laughs> what an absolute beast of a man 80 years old fantastic really nice to see uh, but yeah really want diadotus this is our favored nephew and however he turns out hopefully he turns out well uh, but yeah our favored nephew to take over from us but i think we are at the end turn guys so let's click that end turn button and let's see uh, where we get up to uh, we're still going against the Ptolemies. Finally got to their final settlement. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, good job we managed to take the men off the sh off the ships. Because, yeah, <laughs> we did uh, yeah, lose those ships. So this army is isolated on the Horn of Africa right now. <laughs> Very far down. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's fine. I thought this might happen. And we've got three armies to fight. We've got a Prodromoi. 
a general, and then this. And honestly, this time... Yeah, Thorakitai are scary. But this time, we should have the clear advantage with our horse archers. Um, and we are defending, of course. So we're defending against them. So these guys should be left and right coming in. So we want to be right at the back of the map, basically, away from them. So I'll see you there, guys. Yes, fantastic. So, like I say, we want to be towards the back of the map. Unfortunately, it's not on a hill, um, but it will be fine. And we're going to go and harass these guys as much as possible with our horse archers. We do now have a mercenary Asian archer, which is a great unit. Uh, got the long-range missiles. Very nice indeed. We'll keep the cataphracts and stuff back here. But these boys, we are going to... In sure hell upon anyone who wants to come near us and we're going to go rain fire down upon them what is the f what is this one unit that they brought though in this side where are they okay they're just progenoi so let's deal with them straight away we can probably get rid of them pretty quickly with a few volleys of the arrows um and that'll be one unit dead so the, the city is these guys, so we do want to make sure we kill Platon. Who is this, by the way? This is Eumenus, and we are, Eumenus will assume command now in the north after Adimanthos' demise uh, last turn. So yeah, we're shredding the Prodromoi. Look at that. Ten people of Oli getting killed. Nice. Should be able to get rid of them pretty quickly. They're just really annoying Prodromoi, aren't they? So I'm happy about Dealing death to them, to be honest. Not exactly my favorite unit to try and fight against. <laughs> you know how, how much I hate missile cavalry, guys? Well, when I say missile cavalry, javelin cavalry. But they're down to very few men now. Um, and they're getting some volleys off, so I'd rather come this side and really harass this army. Honestly, we can probably go... Yeah, the Prodromoy are in the way, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, let's come and harass these guys. Ideally... Firing at some of their hoplites and all that sort of thing, rather than anything else. Uh, what is that there? Let's speed this up. I think we can go double speed here. Ah, oh, this brings me back Parthian memories from our Parthian vanilla world conquest, guys. If you've not seen that, do check it out. Quite fun. Uh, but that's one one <laughs> one Brodromoy unit destroyed. There's another. So let's keep coming forward. And they're just not going to have anything to fight against us here. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. Absolutely shredding that Theroporoid. And they got Asian cavalry here as well. We've just got such cavalry dominance. Very nice. Poor Theroporoid getting absolutely shredded there. Uh, our horse archers still have half their ammo left. I just love her. Horse archers are so good. <laughs> so OP. But that's what it's about, isn't it? I love a good horse archer. Let's see if we can, you know, try and take out the general maybe. Because I would like to take him out as revenge for the death of Adimanthos. You deserve to die, my friend. You deserve to die. And if we can really get him down to the last man, that'd be great. I mean, these guys are coming here, but that's fine. Let's go forward. Let's make sure he dies. He's going to have thousands of, of arrows going into him now. There we are. Good. <laughs> revenge is sweet, if a bit cheap. <laughs> But now we should be firing right in the back of all these guys. And that should be a really easy way to destroy a lot of them. Uh, they're not they're not very happy about it. Sending the Thorakitai after us. But like I say, not bothered. <laughs> We've got horse archers. They run a lot quicker than you do, bro. Uh, well, I think we'll, uh, we'll charge through them. Don't think they're going to yeah, put up much resistance. Let's put it back onto normal speed now. Yeah, kill them all. Kill them all. And uh, set up back here. Don't need to worry about chasing those guys down, really. This is the death of this army. They're going to go primarily for the right-hand flank. We now have full cavalry uh, dominance. So let's bring our boys about there. 
Uh, what are you, Thorakitai? I think we can take you in a, in a charge. You're not Spearman, so not going to be too much of a worry. Let's get you off fire at will just for now so we don't, you know, destroy our own men with the charge. And then let's come across here, get the fire at will back on, and hopefully we can start firing at Platon and kill him. Hopefully the Theroporoi can fire in a second. But we do really have the advantage here quite significantly now. Those, what, what a couple of units of horse archers does for you. Here he comes. Platon wants to come and play. Honestly, you want to fight my uh, mercenary Persian noble cavalry? You can do that if you want. You'll shred my uh, rubbish Mar uh, Mardian horse archers and Dehaean horse archers. But good luck fighting my noble Persian, uh, Persian cavalry. They're extremely, extremely good. Fantastically good units. So good luck with that one. The light spearmen are impetuous. Don't care. You guys get in there now. How are the horse archers doing? Should be shredding them. Oh, what's this? I don't want to charge them, to be honest. Just keep going. Keep going. Get, a, get away from them. And we should have killed Platon very soon. Right, we'll come around here and we'll get ready to charge. Charge these fools in the back. Nice. That's one of the that's the other general gone. Now we've got our boys here. These can get ready for charging as well. This is gonna be glorious. This is revenge. This is sweet, sweet revenge, my friends. Sweet, sweet revenge. That's one of the armies gone. Should be good. Let's rally you quickly, just so you don't charge and die. Ideally, don't want that. Oh, look at that. Let's go. Straight in the side of them. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> um, yes. Well, uh... Oof. Um... <laughs> Poor guys are just absolutely shredded now. They're still eager, though. Let's go. Well, you guys can actually come and chase these guys down because they'll probably be a bit faster. Let's uh, let's get the uh, horse archer Persian nobles around that way. Yeah, get after them. I think we're pretty good now. I think we're pretty good. Get up there, my friends. They're still eager, so they do need a good charge in the back also. Uh, oh, there's the Akontistai. Go after them. Uh, you guys get in there. How, how many have we killed? We Remember, we got to kill everyone, though. Eager. Still eager. Let's go. This should be it. That's going to be a fantastic charge. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, straight through him. Keep after them, boys. Uh, how many did we kill then? Uh, no, I'm just going to I'm just gonna make sure. I'm just going to make sure. I know it's a bit overkill. Do it a lot, but let's just make sure that we're not leaving any kills on the table. Uh, because there's like different amounts of... Uh, of people in each army and you know some of the smaller ones if you don't kill everyone they'll, they'll just come back because they've got such a small amount to start with uh, you can be on fire at will again now oh they killed them just with the arrows nice uh kill them that's it that's it that's it that's it good yes sweet sweet revenge guys adimanthos has been uh, revenged. Uh, he unfortunately was overrun. Uh, but yeah, Adi Monthos has been revenged. Fantastic. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And we did take the settlement. Daraspa. Nice. That's fantastic. So it looks like we've only got two settlements in this area again to take. And once, you know, we've taken them all, we'll be very, very rich indeed. Uh, and Polyrenia as well. We'll take that. So Crete is now ours. Actually has solicited recruitment. I don't know why. <laughs> it's got a secret. Oh no, that's okay. I was gonna say <laughs> uh, that wasn't Polyrenia, but yeah, Polyrenia, nice. 
Let's get that on low. And yeah, let's. I was going to say, where are those stars coming from? But it's coming from the uh, the guy behind the boat. On low, still not too happy. What happens if we take out two? 59% there. I reckon, I reckon we can sort that out with a singular 55 as well. Yeah, one shrine to Hera in both of these places. Oh, Temple of Hera though. Let's go for the sewers instead then. I think they'll be fine. They're Greek. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll just have to move some garrisons from this side of the island. I wonder whether we can actually move one right now. Yeah, we can. Good. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. So let's get you straight in, Kaidonia. There we are. And, uh, yeah. We'll come across. You're going to the Temple of Hera, so you should be fine. And we'll go straight back to Pergamon for retraining. And by the time we've got these guys retrained, might be time for that second army. It's not far off. Not far off at all. We do still need to get the... Uh, can we get any good? No, we can't get the Agira Speeders in there. We will be able to after next turn, though. Also want to retrain everyone with the Foundry. And then get the, uh, the Hephaestus Temples in there. So, another city is expanded. Antiochi, Myandros. Uh, Good. Rioting in Gordion. Oof, that's really, really taking a big hit there. See if... So, that's an extra 10%. So, 47. 53 is really not very good. That's probably because of an agent or something like that. Uh, but we do have a lot of... Uh, people available so let's get them over here 62 percent that'll be fine uh, and you my friend you are where are you going well let's go through this galatians Traleus and phion the engineer has died and apamea kibotos actually doesn't have anyone now so let's make sure we get someone in there couple of other towns have grown. Alexandria Susia. Nice. Good. Petra as well. Cool. I remember that was one of our first conquests with Antiochus the Angry. Now we're the most advanced faction. Good. I was going to say, who else could it be, really? <laughs> other than us. Who else? Now we're on 126,000 a turn. Pretty nice. Uh, right then. Let's have a look up north then. What do we want to do? This is a pretty nice settlement, Daraspa. It's this temple. Experience. Yeah, that's where they're getting their ex extra experience from. Get rid of the Bactrian recruitment, of course. I think Daraspa should become a Seleucid recruitment hub because it's on this edge. It's a large city as well. And uh, we can use it to retrain any, any of these guys that we want to going forward. Do we leave behind the mercenary Asian archers? It's only 33%. But with that temple, should be enough. So let's go straight for Maruka, the new capital. Although you... Where were you going? Yeah, let's get you as garrison in Daraspa. And let's also bring the garrison that we've recruited down here. All these guys. They can make the garrisons up now. So let's get them this way and let's replace the garrisons in each of these settlements. So like the archers, we don't need the archers anymore. These guys need to go back for retraining. So once we've done it, we'll uh, we'll do that. Oh, we went this way. We should have gone up to Bactria Basilion. Ah, but it's fine. There's more of an army in there anyway. So it's good to keep them out of harm's way. Uh, and yeah, they're like facing off with us. Let's go up to Antiochia Scythia because I'd rather fight a smaller army than fight the, the bigger army. So let's go for that. Also got to have a see. Let's go and have a see whether this settlement is uh, Bactrian. No, it's... N oh, it. well, they're going for it. They're going for it with a fully mercenary army pretty much. 
of horse archers. That's actually a very nice army. A little bit scared of that, to be honest. Uh, we've got mercenary Asian cavalry. So let's combine you two, and then let's get that mercenary Asian cavalry. So we've got more cavalry. Like I say, mercenaries doesn't really matter too much. But look at the trade. Look at these settlements already. 2,000, 3,000. This one's only 899. But as soon as we get a bit more trade going, 5,000 in Bactria Zariaspa. It's going to be extremely rich. This one might not have the mines. That might be why. Yeah, not quite got mines yet. Uh, but it doesn't actually have any mines available to it. But these other ones do. So very rich. Very rich areas. Uh, but yeah, that's good. Our movement in the north kind of complete. We're getting some Thorakitai. Have a look at Ch Karakata. It's only a minor city. Let's recruit a few more Theroperoi in there to reinforce the armies. Because um, we definitely need a little bit of extra reinforcement in some of these armies. Uh, let's go down to the south. Good job we, uh, we came off the ships. And looks like the final holdout of the Ptolemies is not going to be a problem whatsoever. That is their capital, Ptolemaeus Theron. And I wonder... Yeah, Troglodytike. <laughs> the Troglodyte uh, place. And yes, looking good. Looking good. So that should be the end of the Ptolemies down there. How are we doing in terms of this? We're still just holding out. Six turns. You guys... Uh... Hello, Artaxerxes. What are you doing? Oh, we did recruit a an agent. Do we just pull the trigger now? Or is... Oh, my God. Another one. Our Sammies. Yeah, they're definitely <laughs> going to attack us. <laughs> 100%. Let's, uh, let's build the sewers in there to keep them happy. Um, I think, you know, with these armies, with this army, what we should do... Let's sort them first. I think we should, uh... Should really get these guys into there, if, if it will allow us, without being too upset. And make, like, a bit of a mercenary army. Get the shrine to here, that'll take it to 70. But what I'm thinking of doing, then, is if we... If we pull the trigger, that this area shouldn't be bordering them. I mean, where are the borders of it? Are they along this river? Is this still Cappadocia? No, that's Trochmia. So maybe, ah, oh, so maybe it does. But let's pull the trigger. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's time to fight them. Uh, I'll request compensation first. Let's do that. And then... <laughs> and then... Let's... Cancel the alliance. They're not very happy about it, of course. But then let's go straight for Gangra. They've got a lot of big armies, remember. So this army is going to have to do well. Uh, this army will will come up with those troops there. Let's build the ladders. And I think, honestly, we're going to get attacked by them. And that'll be good. A really nice defensive battle again. Alliance in tatters, of course, we know. But yeah, we'll reinforce that army with the archers and with them. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get a bit of a scraped together army. If we've got any generals around here that can can afford to leave their settlements then that would be good and we could actually recruit some mercenaries along with this army as well just get that shrine to take in there don't we have i thought we had like a general somewhere we've got you but you're 64 you're 19 what are you like noble aspect sharp obsessional trainer more, more morale. Casual adulterer plus two morale <laughs> for all troops. <laughs> Fidelity in marriage is not a concept that this man deems important. He's already committed adultery with the wife of a so-called friend. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy's got loads of extra morale pips. So, let's get him into that army. 
Let's see what mercenaries are available to us straight away because we might actually get attacked by the goddamn Ptolemies. Uh, not Ptolemies, the Pontus. Uh, Galatian slingers, Pisidian javelin men. Yeah, probably not. Uh, we could go for another mercenary Asian cavalry. I don't mind that. But Pontus is there as well. So I'm wondering if we just go straight for Heraclea Pontos, leave that, leave that uh, fort and go straight for there. Very big garrison, so not going to be fun sieges these because they've got pretty big garrisons in most of them, but nice. Where did that, where did the ship end up <laughs> when we were going to Pergamon? Can't quite see it. There it is. Oh, you've already moved. Cool. So you've moved this turn. Then, yeah, we're training here. Training these boys as well. Got the nice armor upgrades. Gonna have the armor very soon. Once you've trained them, let's make sure we get it in. We'll go for that. And not those guys. We'll go for the Indian war elephants. How are we doing at Antioch? We retrained more of the cataphracts we have. Let's retrain three of them. And while we're doing that, let's recruit some war elephants as well. And we'll send them against Pontus again. So I know it's a bit messy with the armies, but yeah, we should be fine. Uh, yeah, we should be pretty good, to be honest. But finally, the trigger has been pulled on the war with Pontus. Uh, and that's fantastic. That's good to see. Done all our movement up here, haven't we? Yep. And... Everywhere else, I think we're good. So let's do our building, and what we're going to do, we're going to do it by, uh, we're going to do it by, not population growth. We're going to do it by public order, and make sure that we uh, keep a lot of these places happy. Because I've just noticed that last couple of turns, everywhere is a little bit unhappy. So let's build that temple of Hera. This one, let's go for the other temple of Hera. Myos Hormos as well. Let's just pop in Temple of Taiki. Pecorus. Pecorus. Let's just go for the market. Mainly because a lot of these places, you know, we don't really ever build in them. So, you know, they're not going to be hugely happy because they're not upgraded to a level where they can become a really good city. Uh, let's go with the awesome Temple of Taiki in there. Dorylion. Let's go with that. Apamea Kibotos. Let's go with the Execution Square. Arsino Clisma. Let's go with the Public Baths. Lycon Polis. Ooh, Inland Trade Center, probably, for that one. Tanis. Let's go with Secret Police HQ. Uh, Parnassos. Let's go with the Execution Square. And then we're back to being happy. And this one actually can upgrade. Good. Uh, Melitine. Let's go for... I think the paved road's definitely going to help out in that region. Zessi's not the greatest of places. Let's go for the execution square instead. Uh, Arsino Crocodilion. Crocodilion. Let's go for the... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's try and get a few more paved roads around the regions. Paved roads. Uh, now Kratis. Now Kratis. Let's go for that secret police HQ. Try Bactra. Oh my god, we've still got so much money to spend. <laughs> I always thought we'd be down to like 10,000 then. Hibis. Yeah, just get some paved roads, you know. Paved roads everywhere. Let's go where we can. Public baths. Pessinus. Pessinus. Definitely some paved roads there. Uh, Raithu. Allow our armies to move a lot quicker. Let's go for the baths again. Bactria. Zariaspa. Let's go... For ah, we've actually not destroyed that building there. Um, I mean, it's a pretty nice settlement, to be honest. How much corruption do we have? 1,700. Um, yeah, let's try and get rid of that. How much does that reduce it by? 408. Wow. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's reverted back to what it's doing. But let's go from the back then, because we never go from the bottom. And we never, you know, we never actually get to upgrade any of these cities because they're right at the bottom. Let's go for the execution square there. 
Marikanda's actually a very nice settlement, so we should actually probably put a bit of effort into there. Nisa's a decent settlement too, so let's go for the execution square there. Uh, Nosos, let's go for the farming. Now Taka, go again, execution square, as usual. <laughs> Metropolis, let's go for the paved roads. Uh, Halicarnassus, we've not really upgraded you for so long. Wow. Wow, we've had we've had Halicarnassus for ages, and it's still only at 5,000 population. Tyana. Uh, oh, it did rebel, though, didn't it? So that's probably why. Uh, Megala Apollonius. Apollonio, Let's go for that. Caracarta. Yeah, Caracarta's good. Um, Caracarta. Let's go for some stables up there, then. Uh, and then Mothis. Let's go for Market. Palmyra. Let's go for the Execution Square. And Kibira. Let's go for Communal Farming. And then do we have enough for something somewhere else? Yeah, probably. Shrine to Hephaestus in Antiochi. Marginai. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Antiochi Marginai. Was that... Yeah, you're up there, aren't you? Cool. Well, I think let's end the turn there. But yeah, looking honestly pretty good. It's a bit scary now, Pontus, because they might siege down there and there. Ah, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll be, we'll be good. Worst case scenario, we divert this new army over to Pontus. But honestly, I think we'll be okay. Especially with the elephants and the cataphracts in that nice mercenary army we're going to uh, get moving with. Uh, but yeah, it is a bit um, annoying. Uh, Atropatine has Ekbatana. <laughs> They've actually attacked when it's rebelling, which is good. Because it'll stop them actually civil revolting against us. But Pontus has come. Our first battle with Pontus. Nice. Let's take it. What do they have? That's pretty much just trash. These Light Spearmen and Hillmen are not good. And yeah, I mean, they've got some good experience and armor upgrades, to be honest. But... Oh, yeah, we should we shouldn't have a problem. We should not have a problem, especially with the amount of cav we've got. Don't want Antiochus the Angry to die though. <laughs> but again, we can be in a defensive position and surround them. Although we're going to have to be far back right uh, in order to defend because the ones coming from the left behind us, kind of. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see there. Here we are. It's quite a good map for us because it's nice, open, no trees. So where we are. They will come far left, I guess. So let's set up here. We'll set up with you boys sort of in the middle of the line. And uh, the phalangites. Yeah, you guys there. You guys there. Let's see whether this will work out properly if we do that. No. Ah, it's annoying that it does that sometimes. But it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. Our archers can be there. Got our cav with Antiochus all on one flank. And the elephants. We're just going to send the elephants into... Uh, to send a to okay, they're coming from there. That's that's not ideal. <laughs> um, get there, guys. And you guys run. Wait, 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 wait. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Go, 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 go. In fact, if we can spread out a little bit more, that'd be good. Elephants, go and deal with this Cappadocian skirmisher cab. This'll be fine, I think. They should get there quick enough. It's going to be a bit messy. But it'll be fine. Uh, the only problem is they're going to route really quickly off the map. But in order to take the settlement, we only need to destroy that army rather than this one. Come on, boys. Let's get in the fight. Come on, boys. Forward. You go deal with them. Ellie's going to have a field day with these boys. You guys get your thingies back. You boys, isn't it? Let's get there. 
these guys get there. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to beat these guys, honestly. Get around. And we'll just block them in. Block them in. That's how we like to do it. Smash these fools. Let's get engaged in here. Elephants are still going. Nice. They're not enjoying that elephant attack, are they? You guys get there. Get them. How's the behind looking? Not too bad. Let's get over here. Cav time. Get them. Uh, they're going for the escape, aren't they? Oop, didn't mean to do that. Let's get there. Let's get there. I mean, you can go this way as well. Kill them. You guys get in there. Don't really think we can do much with our cavalry here, to be honest. Let's come across this way. Get behind. And then we're going to squish these boys. I mean, we could... Actually, let's go for a nice cheeky side charge on these boys. We are losing a few men. They're not enjoying that too much, are they? But let's go. They are impetuous, so they shouldn't make sure Antiochus doesn't, doesn't die. But this should break them. Nice. Get out of there. They're going to say fighting to the death, but we'll uh, keep them pinned. Keep them pinned. This poor unit is just running all over the place for no reason, really. Um... So, cavalry, definitely worth getting to this side now. We can actually charge them this way. So, yeah, you guys chase after them. In fact, you guys chase after them as well. Uh, and we'll uh, just move you across so that we don't select you again. These guys have all started routing now. Let's get into them then. And we'll get these guys ready to receive combat again. It uh, doesn't matter too much about these armies, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's go after them then. I think we've pretty much destroyed the whole army. Yeah, pretty much destroyed it. Nice! Let's go, boys! Nice! Yes. God damn, these slingers, they are fast, aren't they? They're fucking faster than my cavalry, bro. Really annoying. <laughs> Come on! Catch him. Catch him for God's sake. You're useless. Get there. You guys get here. You guys bring you here, of course. You guys can get behind there. Jesus Christ, how long does it bloody take? Come on, you should be faster than a fucking guy running. You're on a horse. Fucking annoying, bro. But anyway, let's bring our cavalry back across. Ah, the Chalka Speedheads are actually fighting the Cappadocian Skirmish Cav now. They might run away, you know, uh, and that would be a real shame. Uh, you can join these guys now. Oh, hello, Caucasian Hillman. Let's charge them. And let's uh, get in the back of these Asian light spearmen. Come on. Let's get them routed. See, if Pontus has armies like this, then they're not so scary. But if they've got armies, you know, uh, full of horse archers and, and uh, phalangites, <laughs> suddenly a lot more scary. You three. Let's bring you forward. Get rid of them. Yep. Routed them straight away. Kill the Cappadocian skirmish cab. Kill them. In flight. Let's go. Don't want the archers in there. Why are the archers... Why are the cab just dying there? 
Even though they're just... Probably because of the archers, goddammit. Should have killed all them now. Good. Get across. Yeah, you guys. Right, we need to send one of you out this way. Actually, no. We need to send you into the Asian Light Spearmen. All our guys are pretty tired now, but they should get a good charge off here. Yeah, come on. Should get a good charge in there as well. Come on. Big. Yeah, broken straight away. Good. Right, you guys in there then. And then you boys. Cool. Let's make sure that we kill as many as we can. You guys get there. Antiochus, you can come there. You guys can get there as well. Let's speed it up. Shouldn't be too much of a net. A worry. You guys get there as well. Well, that's good. Good, good. Very good battle again. We did lose 23% of our troops, but don't think that's unduly worrying, to be honest. But yeah, nice. Good. Good battle against Pontus again. Well, our first battle against Pontus has gone well, so hopefully that's a sign for the rest of the battles. And this isn't the strongest army that we have either in this region. So, you know, we're going to try and uh, scrape it by as quick as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, I think what we might do is try and combine a few troops that don't have much experience. Uh, and then add in the elephants and the cataphracts that we're getting. Uh, but oh, 1,400. They killed about 270. So good result. I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, and Pontus has come back for a second bite at the cherry with a bigger army. Nice. And uh, we didn't actually take the settlement with the other one, but maybe maybe it will uh, register. Let's have a look. Oh, we did take the settlement. Good. Well, this is another opportunity to take the settlement. They've got a lot of slingers and stuff. Again, not a good army, and we've got one of our most elite armies. And finally, finally... We can run our Seleucid Cataphracts on a battle, battle, guys. First time we're going to get to run them out onto the battlefield. Very, very much we're looking forward to it. Again, we will uh, defend. Where are they? So again, they're coming from... Main army's coming from behind us, but the, the other army's going to come from right behind us. So what do they actually have? Oh, nothing, really. Ah, well, this will be fun anyway. I will see you on the battle map. Here we are. Something appalling. Something appealing. I'm assuming they're going to come in on this road. So let's set up with that in mind. Again, phalangites. We'll use the phalangites mainly. And we'll actually keep the theroperoi behind to fire their javis in. Hypastis either side. Hypastis on this side. Let's group them and lock that formation in there so we can move it around like that. Uh, we've got our archers. Oh, we've got a th uh, single guy as well. Well, fine. And let's have a look at our cataphracts. I mean, they look very similar to the other cataphracts. So, But finally, here they are. The elite boyos of the Seleucid army. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Ah, oh, there they do. There they go. So, I think, in terms of movements... I mean, do we just go and smash them? Let's just go and smash them, I think. And we'll use, like, two of these boys to come and smash them, too. I mean, they might just go straight for the charge. I mean, if he does, I'm happy with that. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the cataphracts to do a bit of a backwards back charge onto him. So, they're just a bit slower. So, that's why it's good to run cataphracts all by themselves. We've got Andragoras the Handsome, of course. Our guy that's responsible for our military reforms. They've got the Light Spearmen. Where's their phalangites? Are they coming now? Cataphract's taking a bit of a while to get there. <laughs> ah, well, we killed them. Uh, let's just let's just wait and let's see what impact the cataphracts can have if we uh, don't want to be fired by javis, though. 
So let's go. Go for the charge. And then let's get the cataphracts in there. Here it comes, boys. The first cataphract charge that we're going to have. Bang, straight through the side of them. Absolutely loving it. Bang, straight in there. Routed them straight away. That's the power of the old cataphracts uh, that we love to see. Uh, oh, we did actually lose quite a lot of men there, look. Oh, no, that's there, General. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, right then, let's go and deal with the uh, phalangites. Uh, let's bring these guys back. And then let's start facing these actual guys we're going to be facing. Missile men, you can get there. And then everyone apart from you, everyone apart from you, you can get behind as well. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that's that's good. Oh, we, we, why are we running away? We want to charge these guys in the back. So let's get ready. And then we that, that will mean we take the city as well, of course. Now, what we're doing here, guys, why I'm not putting a, f a longer line is... They really... The AI hates to uh, go against Phalangites face-on. They love to go around the sides. So we're really not giving them any other option apart from facing us face-on by doing this. Uh, and we'll get you to fire off your jabbies. They're only Freeman Phalangites, and I think that's their sort of cheaper... Not great. I mean, 37 21's actually pretty good, to be honest. But, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, chuck them in there. Keep going. One more volley through Operoit. One more volley. Apparently not. <laughs> and you guys, let's charge them in the side. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Should break them, surely. Got overwhelming numbers. Yep. And let's kill them all. And then... You two boys. Let's get you over here now. Oh, where's the Hypastus? Did I move the Hypastus? No, I didn't move this one. So let's get you here as well. Here they come. Here they come. Archers, archers, archers. Let's go. Let's get out. Get out. But here they come. They're going to get stuck on the Phalangites to start with. Where's the other? Do we have any other Hypastus? I believe not. And let's get our cavalry. Oh. Apart from, yeah, you need to go up here. Looks like they routed straight away. Uh, don't know why. What are you then? Asian Light Spearman. Let's get after him then. Same with the High Pastis. Let's get after that Asian Light Spearman. And Cavalry over here. Again, a Celtic settlement uh, in Pontus. So the Galatians have 100%, you know, kind of taken over this area quite significantly forward and uh, let's have another big charge come on the cataphract boys let's go i know you're a bit slower but your charge should be nice and impactful oh, oh, oh. oh dearie me dearie dearie me they don't like do uh, the cataphracts in, uh, frighten nearby enemy yes they do so the morale impact they're having right now is, is quite severe And uh, yeah, let's come. Uh, let's come forward then. It looks like the cavalry is just going to be able to run through these guys because of that frightened nearby enemy effect. They've got the Asian royal bodyguards. Let's get into them then, and kill them. And uh, let's come forward. And you guys can actually go after that light spearman. All right, we don't want him to survive, to be honest. Okay, he's killed now. Good. Oh, this is just brutal. This is absolutely brutal. This is just brutal. We're just running rampant. Running absolutely rampant through Pontus. I don't know why I was scared of them. I mean, I'm saying that now, but yeah, they might actually be good <laughs> at some point. <laughs> they might actually have a good army at some point, but for now, not really. Um, right, so you guys get there. You guys get them. You guys get them. And what we'll do is we'll use these two as the main... The charging force now, the general and the cataphracts. We don't need anyone else. Uh, these guys have all got in the fight. They're already shaken. Um, it's just been so... I've not even managed to keep up with the rest of the troops in terms of the micro. So let's go into the back of the Freeman Phalangites. Here come the cataphracts once again. 
Come on, boys. Let's watch this charge. Bang. Straight in. Routed them straight away. Didn't even need to wait. Are they fighting to the death? Yes, they are. So let's get out then. How are we doing? Charging them down. Good. Uh, I think you need to get up there, really. Uh, and let's get in there. How many have we killed? Nearly all of them. Let's just make sure that we do kill all of them. Uh, you guys get there. And what we'll do is we'll actually chase these guys down with the archers because they're faster than them. Uh, you should be chasing someone down at least. So you chase them down. There's a one problem with cataphracts for the pursuit. They're not very good because they're so slow. <laughs> sluggy, sluggy, sluggies. They're doing all right there though. But that should be... Yeah, we've absolutely decimated them. Poor guys. Poor guys. Yeah, poor guys. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Very, very nice indeed. What a battle. Pontus is on the run. Uh, they have sieged down a settlement, but like I say, if we're taking settlements like this left, right, and center, we'll be absolutely fine. That should be destroyed as well. Very good indeed. How did the cataphracts do, though? How did they do? Uh, 142. Not quite as good as the Zistaphoroi, but mainly because of the pursuit, obviously. So I will see you all again. I don't see you all again. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And we've taken both of them. So let's enslave both of them as well. Nice. Gangra and Heraclea Pontica. Oh, hello, Armenia. That's an interesting, interesting move from them. Was not expecting that, to be honest. But it looks we are close to Antioch. So let's train up an army over here then. we You know, we're going to be inundated by armies very soon. Uh, but like I say, the AI is not that quick at taking settlement. So... It's not too much of a worry, them coming and attacking us there. Um, Antioch, again, will be the answer to our prayers in that instance. But yeah, Armenia has come and attacked us. Probably sensing our armies being all the way over in Pontus. Uh, and we've got really nothing to respond on this side. So let's go... Let's get a, a couple of Agira speeders. We can actually recruit a general's bodyguard here to get an extra general if we need... Um, but yeah, that's okay. I'd rather a younger general, but we don't really have any generals over here, so we might need to do that. Is there anything we can recruit, like, maybe here that will help us out? Not too much, but as I say, we don't need to rush. What we can do, though, in Seleucia is recruit some extra troops. So, would like... Yeah, let's get the Neocretan archers. We've got the cataphracts and elephants. That's five, nine... Plus a general, that's 10. So that's five of those guys as well. And then if we had the Agira speeders, yeah, we do. Let's get them. Uh, yeah, so we probably need... Uh, well, with the Scythe Chariot, so that's 10 turns. But like I say, the AI is not too quick, so honestly not too bothered. It's good to have a bit of pushback, honestly, from the AI now. So, yeah, let's move this mercenary army kind of over here. Actually, you know what? This mercenary army can go and have a go at some of these troops, some of these uh, armies. They can maybe go against Armenia. Uh, still happy in Tuayon. And then if there's any more mercenaries, decent mercenaries, should I say, available, then, yeah, no, there's not. Uh, let's get those guys. So, mercenary army. Let's go after our Sarmies. And how long would it then take you to get to here? Only a few turns. So, honestly, probably the option. Or to go for Nymphios, which, again, is only a few turns. I think we'll go round that way. We'll, we'll first attack our Samis, and we'll go round that way. Uh, Civil Disorder in Polyorinia. Actually happy now. Good. Nothing damaged there, though. And unhappy in Mazaka, which we need to repair. Uh, we are obviously besieged there, though. War with Armenia. Nice. Thank you, Armenia, for that. Lovely to see. Uh, we got Praxinos. What are you like? Handsome, even-handed, whimsical, and respects his father. 
Uh, yeah, probably not the best option for a governor uh, or general even, <laughs> but that's fine. Where do we not have a governor? Galzana. Let's just go with Galzana then. Where were you? You were in here, weren't you? Uh, Galzana. All the way down those paved roads. Very nice. We've also got another guy coming of age. Marcias. I'm happy to keep you in there because the other guy's 52. Uh, Aganzana, which I hardly even built anything there ever. Antiochia, Saros. The, the one thing we do need to be wary with Armenia is this area potentially does border them. We don't really have any recruitment hubs or anything over this way. So if they want to come down there, they're probably going to be able to absolutely shred us. So, hmm. I mean, I'm happy with, you know, what we're building right now in terms of the, the, the armies. Building one in Antioch and Seleucia to combine to fight Armenia. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's actually fine. Do they have siege equipment yet? No, they don't. So, we're still, we got Heraclea Pontos. So, we want to go straight down the coast. Do we have anyone available here to come and manage the city? Not quite. Looks like that port's gone. Okay, who are you? <laughs> it's, another, it's a bloody Pontic army. That's a bit annoying. Now, let's see whether we've got any mercenaries available just to garrison Heraclea Pontos or Heraclea Pontica. Uh, go down to low. Get rid of the path, uh, Pontic recruitment. What do they have here? What's this? A vineyard? Nice. Execution square as well. Shrine to men. <laughs> the shrine to men. Okay. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is fine in terms of what we've got in there. Let's get the Shrine to hear us straight away if we can. And yeah, it's only a 45%. So honestly, getting like a Light Spearman, sticking them in there. Bit of a waste of money, but it's not too bad. It allows us to go faster in our conquest, doesn't it? 70% with the Shrine to hear it. That should be fine. Oh, there's a Plague in there. So maybe we want to wait that out. So I'm only going to make it worse. Uh... But yeah, Sasamos, which is a minor city as well. And then over this way, do we have anyone we can send in there? We probably do. So let's get our men out. And we are just, yeah. Still 0%. <laughs> well, I think we can probably get some people from there as well. Still 0 can we get three out of two ion? Yes, we can. Good. Let's get them up there. Okay, it's not quite enough. Let's get Andragoras in there now, just for now then. Leave the army outside is fine. That's still not happy. So, let's get the archers in there. And let's build a temple of hero as well. Make sure that they are going to be happy. What do they have? They've got this Pontic thing again. Anything else that we don't want to in there? No, that's fine. Let's go straight in with the Shrine to Hera. That's an extra 10% order. You're going here. Aesis. Aesis. Path blocks. A lot's happened in this episode, hasn't it? Wow. Lots and lots and lots. So Antioch, yeah, of course. You've got all those units queued up now. Uh, Karakata is still going. Pergamon's still recruiting as well. Actually, not long until Pergamon will be ready to go. Lots more execution squares done. So we've come down a bit on money, but mainly because of that monstrous amount of uh, construction, sorry, recruitment that we've been doing. And honestly, now that Armenia's attacked us, we need to keep that up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's see, what can we build in here then? can actually start building the royal barracks here so yeah we can actually recruit in both sardis and pergamon the good troops so that's good that'll make it a lot quicker to recruit an army down there how about over here is anywhere good enough to recruit any good troops no we didn't really upgrade around this region but that is a soft underbelly here against armenia isn't it so we really do need to uh, push them back when we get chance have we moved everything in the north? No, not quite. So you get in there. 
Taras, but yeah, now they're happy. Uh, but yeah, instantly starting to make some serious cashola over here. Let's get you up to there to start with, and then we'll move across. So yeah, I think, so that's the north. They've actually stayed back down there, so let's just auto-resolve that quickly. Enslave as well. Put it on low, and then, yep, destroy this. Uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Really nice settlement again. Thank you, Bactria. <laughs> we are really going to get very rich off Bactria, to be honest. I didn't even realize they had... Oh, no, I did. It just had a bigger garrison, didn't it? So let's go deal with them when we can. They do have this one up here as well. Anisiopolis. Another city expands. Gaza. Good. I mean, our, our cities are pride up, predominantly expanding from <laughs> enslavement rather than anything else, but it's fine. Uh, right. Yeah, you've moved. You're still sieging down the last of the uh, Galatians. You're sieging down there. We can't actually move from here just yet. Uh, you might as well, you know, swap over. Go into there. Good. Made them happy. Good. We're probably not overburdened our cities then in this region now because, you know, we're expanding so quickly. Uh, but yeah, Pontus... If they keep up with these armies of just trash, we should be okay against, honestly. Uh, but if they have any really good armies, then, yeah, uh, it'll be a bit of a worry. I just really don't want Antiochus to get plague and then die before we can make Diodotus the heir. That would be incredibly, incredibly annoying. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it might happen. Right, let's go down to the bottom and start building in some of these places again. I think we go for the second Temple of Hera there just to keep them happy. And Kira over here in the middle. Go for that execution square. Oh, lots of places building. Good. I love to see that. Gordion as well. Let's go for the public baths. Megale Apollonopolis. Trying to take. And Antiochi Marginae. Let's go for that again. And Delos. We've really not built on these islands very much. <laughs> Let's build the academy just for some lore. Bostra. Let's build the sewers. Uh, the academy probably wasn't a great choice, but that's fine. Uh, Oxyrinkos. See, I don't even know some of these exist, you know. <laughs> We've hardly built in them at all. Kios. Definitely no Kios exists. Let's get the... Uh... We don't know, though. We don't want the roads on Kios. It's an island. So, yeah, let's get the execution square. Samos. That's actually Samos. Samos is an island as well, so nope. <laughs> Let's go with the Odeon there, just in case, you know. Kos. Is Kos an island? Yeah, they're all islands. Uh, Dockyard would be good. It's very expensive, but more and more trade in this region. Good. Amethyst. Uh, yeah, we want trade, really. So let's go for the Great Agora. It costs a lot, but that's fine. Alexandria, we've not built in there for ages. Let's go for the Secret Police Network. Paphos, let's go for the Dockyard. So we're spending a lot of some big projects in here that are very expensive. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, they're long-term projects. They're going to make us more money in the long run. So, good. Fantastic. Well... Interesting episode. Was not expecting the Armenia curveball, but it's definitely something we can handle, especially with this nice mercenary army with cataphracts and two elephants. I don't think much is going to be able to stand in its way, to be honest. Uh, even if it is a big, fat army, those elephants are going to just run rampant. Uh, and then we're going to go, boom, straight around to Armenia, attack them. So in terms of Armenia, you know, the settlements that we do know exist up here it's going to be a bit of a you know an exploration job because they might have expanded up to here quite a bit as well uh, but that does really open the door for us conquering the whole of anatolia now um which we would have had to attack armenia at some point anyway so it's quite nice to get that done um but yeah still got plans to go into greece still gonna plan to go into greece uh with the two armies down in this region we'll just want to see how things go with pontus because 
Now we've only got... We do have three armies still. We've got this one, this one, and this one. And hopefully we can just sweep through Pontus without them making much difference to us, really. Uh, but coming down the coast, I think, is a good idea with Antiochus. Take that settlement once the plague stopped. Move down the coast. And this army can just go through the middle. So sort of take that one, maybe this one, uh, which is the capital. It's a large city as well. A lot of large cities, so we might actually get quite rich from this as well. Uh, but very hilly, very undulating terrain. So going to be a bit more of a uh, struggle, really, I'd say, down in that region. And all the while, we are very close to have completed a very, very elite army down here. So I'm looking forward to that extremely. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.